Hello crafty cuties. I have another Michaels haul for you guys. This is my birthday month. My birthday is September 19th and yesterday my aunt came over and she gifted me with a Michaels gift card. So what did I do? I went right out that evening and I blew it and I had fun and I literally just picked up everything that I wanted. Some of this will is like actually a lot of it. No. Probably, yeah, probably all of it is supplies for journals, but that's literally like what I love buying. I love buying supplies to make journals for other people to purchase from my shop. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's jump right in because there is a lot. It was so much fun to just go in and not really worry about how much I was spending, not really just grab what I want. I mean, how is that not fun? You know what I mean? So. Here we go. I wanted these Tim Holtz cameos, but I think they were like $6.99, $8.99 maybe. Um, so I didn't get them the first time around, but I'm glad I got them because, you know, they could be five different charms, which will be great for October dailies. Um, and they were 40% off and then an additional 20% off as a coupon. So the things in here actually ended up being relatively great deals. I did grab these. I thought that the brooms might be uh, great covers or they might, you know, they might be good on the covers of journals. Um, grabbed these. Lots of Tim Holtz. It's my favorite. And can you guys give me any ideas how to get these on charms? Do I just stick a little, uh, maybe like an eye pen? Maybe that's what I need to do. Stick a little eye pen down? I'm not sure. Um, but these are cool because they come with little stickers too and I'm really excited to use these and put these on some charms. If you guys are curious, I'm just gearing up for October Daily. I started, I started the covers, but I'm just not quite there yet. I'm working on custom orders, travel journal, botanical journal for Genevieve Designs, three vintage sewing journals, and my days have been a lot busier than I thought they were going to be with my son in school. So. Things are just taking me a while, but I will be making October dailies and I really hope to at least have some available by the end of September, but I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I go through these like crazy ring fasteners. I use one of these on each of my books. This is a very special charm. This will probably go on one of like my full size journals, but um, look how cool it is. I actually have this one on my own October daily from last year and I think it's so cool. It is, um, this was like $6.99. So I used my 50% off coupon on this. So $3.50 is pretty good. And then I bought three single threads. Um, I can't remember, but these were on sale and they were $1.99 regular, but then there was some kind of deal. I don't know something. Um, and P.S. I do have three new um, paper pads and I will sh do a flip through of those at the end. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have more. <laughs> um, I got some glassine bags and I'm really glad that I realized that Michaels has these because they're just plain, but you get 25 they are $1.99 and I was also, they were on sale and I used a 20% off coupon so they ended up being like a dollar for 25 and I actually really like the quality and these are in the baking supplies. Um, something else that's kind of expensive but I need to purchase frequently because I use them are these Project Live Photo Pockets and they are basically just a clear pocket if you can see the little diagram here um and you can put four by six photos and becky higgins is um the designer for these but they also have some that have smaller spots for like little journaling cards but they didn't have those and i these are usually not in stock when i go to buy them so um maybe we're almost done and then I got two of these. I like the cream colored um, paper cardstock because I feel like when I am printing digital kits, um, anything that's kind of vintage looking, that the cream color really, really helps make it look a little bit more vintage. And I don't know, I feel like it really makes the colors pop on whatever I'm printing. So I did get, actually I got three of those. So that may be all. 
The reason it feels like it's such a big haul to me, I think, is just because of all of the Tim Holtz stuff that I got. And you have to keep in mind, I've recently done like quite a few um, hauls for Michaels. So then the last three items are paper pads. Now, these are the newer ones. I know they've been out for probably a few weeks by now, maybe a couple weeks too. Um, but I actually found two that I haven't seen and I haven't even seen a flip through, but I'm sure I've missed it and it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> but this one is so cool. It's called Fly Me Away. Fly Me Away. And it's a really pretty travel theme. So I'll do a flip through, like I said, in just a minute. But yeah, we'll talk about it in just a sec. And then I got Botanical Bliss. Oh my gosh, like I wish I would have got two of these. These ended up being like maybe three fifty or something like that. Maybe four four, I don't know. They're around three or four dollars. So there we go. And this one too. I just wish they were double sided, but let's go ahead and flip the camera around and we'll do a flip through. The first one we will flip through is Autumn Dreams. Really pretty leaves background. Lots of different journaling cards. Really pretty. They're very foiled. And a lot of these um, patterns and things can definitely be used like year round. So I do like that. That's really pretty. Pumpkins. Very pretty. I almost grabbed this like my last time, but I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use it. But when I can get it for, you know, around three or four dollars. I feel like I can get some good use out of a lot of these more plain pages. So there's that one. Next is Botanical Bliss. And like I said, I was really excited about this one. Um, and I hadn't seen it, but I feel like it has some really great, more vintage botanical pieces in here. Pages, not pieces. A lot of wood grain. That one's really cool. Different also. I feel like this is actually very, I feel like this is very different from Michael's um, style, but like this is probably like my favorite page. I think it's so cool. And then again, a lot of neutrals like all of their paper pads have, but that's why I feel like it's such a good way to buy paper is because you can get so much use, but look at these, They're very cool. You could cut these tags out and use them or whatever. This is another really cool page. All right, and then the last one. I'm very excited. I think that a travel journal would be very um, fun to make out of this paper pad and, um, you know, have it be a little bit more feminine, but also very travel themed, obviously. <laughs> That one's really pretty. Has like very subtle little stamps and images throughout there. Very pretty map. And I think there's only one page of that, darn it. I hate when they do that. Very pretty journaling cards. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, I feel like Michaels is kind of stepping up their game trying to make some of their um, pages look very vintage, which is in right now. So that's cool. So maybe this is a repeat of the pages, and maybe there are two of that map page. Some really cool postcards. We will see. Oh, great. That's exciting because I like the map a lot. There we go. So guys, those are the three paper pads that I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.